discuss the operation of your Life Breath HRV ventilation system through the new VC03 controller. As you look at the controller, the bottom left hand button is power. When you turn the controller on from a default state, this is the indicators that you will see flashing. When you turn your controller on for the first time, it's very important that if we are in the spring, summer and fall months, that we disable the humidity controller, the middle button. And in order to do that, you just need to raise it till the blinking stops and we have now disabled the use of the humidity controller. The humidity controller is, is good for wintertime applications. When the home becomes too humid, what your humidity controller will allow you to do is to introduce a certain amount of drier, fresher air to calm the humidity issues in the home. Wintertime only application. Again, default setting, once I turn the humidifier indicator off, I'm at a low speed. You'll see a circle with the indicator highlighted. This is what we call a recirculation rate. When you're using a low speed recirculation rate, we are no longer introducing fresh air into the home. What we are doing is trying to recirculate existing air. One of our main uh, pieces of information regarding your thermostat is to run your thermostat fan in an on position 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And if you do that, then we do not recommend that you use the recirc mode on your HRV system. To turn it off, you hit it once. When you are in this position with the low indicator highlighted, what we are doing is running the HRV at a low speed ventilation rate consistently. So it's constantly working 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, bringing in fresh air at a low speed rate. You also have the option of what we call the intermittent low speed 2040. This is what we would consider your day to day living environment. As a ventilation system, do you need the HRV to pump fresh air 24 hours a day, 7 days a week into the home? No. An adequate amount of ventilation would what we would consider a low speed 2040. Your 2040 is an intermittent cycle, 20 minutes and 40 minutes equals an hour. And consecutively for every hour of the day in this particular feature, you will introduce 20 minutes of fresh air and then the HRV system will shut down for 40 minutes. As far as the do's and don'ts regarding your HRV system, um, your HRV system is a very efficient piece of equipment at bringing in fresh vented air and exhaling and exhausting stale air from the home until we reach a certain temperature. And unfortunately, we do live in this environment. Basically what we're saying is anytime we start to reach temperatures of plus 30 with a Humidex or minus 30 with a wind chill, at that point it is time to just shut the HRV system off because we've thrown the efficiency of the unit out the window. However, when we do get back into normal temperatures, when you return and shut the, or turn the HRV on, you will automatically be remembered at your low speed 2040. Humidity, humidity indicator, as we discussed, is a wintertime only application in which in some Energy Star homes through a certain amount of activity you will have humidity levels rise but have nowhere to escape to. 20, 30, 40. 40 is what we recommend you play with between 40 and 50. For most homeowners that is what they consider comfortable in the winter months as far as humidity is concerned. Anytime you see this indicator begin to blink that means the HRV has been activated because we reached that threshold of 60% humidity. It is now trying to introduce the drier, cooler air of the winter months to bring that humidity uh, down to a relative setting between 50 and 60, 40. Uh, that being said, again, in the spring when you stop using the heat, it is highly recommended that you shut this off by raising it till no indicators are highlighted. And that is the operation of the BC03 controller.